What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is I, Paul from Non-Apple Fan. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about APUs. <laughs> so, if you know the way the current generation of GPUs has gone, um, people were like, ah, we can't buy a GPU, ah, and then there was people investing in APUs. And my current opinion and feeling towards APUs is that APUs are terrible. Uh, there's always a better solution when you go and buy a discrete GPU and a cheap CPU. Usually that's your performance tier over. But as we get into the future of AMD refusing and NVIDIA refusing to make low-end GPUs, this might become irrelevant. What I say might be actually pushed out and phased out into a different realm. And that's down to them choosing not to do this. And I, too, I fundamentally believe that NVIDIA will, like good friend of the channel Cortex has said, uh, come out with their own CPU, possibly an APU as well in the future. But... This is not about that. I also think that Intel's APU portion of their GPU, of their CPU, will get better with time and age, and they are going to ramp up the size uh, and scope of their APUs to something unimaginable to what we can think of today as an APU. Um, but AMD has shown you. They are the only one who's shown you what's, what they are capable of doing. They brought you 12 CUs of... RDNA 2 goodness in the 6800U. You will see it soon. It's the one I'm very interested in. They brought the same type of technology to the Steam Deck. And you see the kind of performance you're getting there. And a good friend of the channel also, uh, who I talk to on a regular basis, uh, Paul from Red Gaming Tech, covered this in a recent video where he talked about APUs and the portion of, of, of those APUs and how it could go up, how it could be bigger. Now, he say, he mentioned 24 CUs. Um, I'd imagine that's too high, um, but you could imagine them doing something like 16, right? 16 RDNA 2 CUs on... Uh, Five, man, 5 nanometer piece of silicon with clock speeds instead of being 2.2 gigahertz being something very, 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 very high like 2.5 gigahertz or something like that, right? You can see that happening now. You can see that. And if you bring up a calculator and you go uh, 16 times 64, you get 10, 1024 shaders, right? If you times that by 2 and you times that by 2500 megahertz or whatever, you get something that's in the region of a 5 teraflop RDNA 2 GPU. Now we know that 5, my 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 kind of point for where an APU beats or is good enough for low end gaming is when it beats an RX 580 for instance or an RX uh, 480. And the RX 580 is around 6 teraflops of Polaris. 6 teraflops of Polaris is way worse than RDNA 1 and this is RDNA 2. This is the whole thing that I'm trying to say here is that I think we've reached that um, inflection point where an APU um, might be very stunning in terms of its performance uh, and might be good enough to get you by and you might never have to worry about this GPU problem again because you can just buy a CPU with a portion of GPU that's good enough for the low end, good enough to get you by probably going to be able to for the first time put things up higher than uh 1080p low on AAA titles maybe 1080p medium which is what i call kind of say all apus have done for the past so what apus have done for the past is apus are really good if you have a vega apu you got an a core a a cu or 16 cu vega apu you can run it you get good performance in old games but you come to modern triple a titles and you're running at 720p or 1080p and that's kind of what apus have been they've always been for the year that they launch any games that launch in that year or after that they're about that performance and they don't didn't see that scaling but i can see it doing that with this one because they're going up in clock speed they're going up in architecture they're going up a node and they're going up in um uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say there, but they're going up in everything, right? So it will all lead to a dramatic... In oh, they're going up in RAM, that's what I meant to say. So RAM in terms of uh, DDR5 on the desktop and LP DDR5 and laptops will increase the performance of these things because always RAM seems to be the bottleneck with APUs. So you've got DDR5, you've got a massive... Uh, performance increase in terms of your RAM, your memory bandwidth in turn, and then you've also got this massive increase in CU count. Um, you know, ten at, at, at you know, 
1024 shaders is what we've got in in the low end gpu segment at the moment like how many uh, uh how many cus uh how oh sorry let's just go with an or x uh 64 i know in arc 6400 i think a 700 700 shader 768 or 764 or something like that shaders right that's what that has it's a low-end gpu from amd that's a 150 dollar gpu from amd now has 700 and something shaders i just want to check that rx 6400 specs right let's see uh, the 6400 has uh, 2300 megahertz desktop runner. It doesn't say uh, how many sh shaders it has. Where is the, let's say, 6400 tech power up? Tech power up. So here we go. We got a tech power up. Five, five and a half billion transistors, 107 millimeters squared. I think it's just a 6,500 cut down. 768 shaders, units, 48 ROPs, 32, uh, 48 TMUs, 32 ROPs. So it's a, it's a seven teraflop. Oh, sorry. It's, it's sorry. Yeah, I was reading the FP16. It's a 3.5 teraflop gpu can you see the narrative here if you can get 16 which has a thousand shaders in it into a low-end cpu or into a high-end cpu then you can look at that and you can go well i can get eight cores for 300 350 bucks with a 16 core gpu that will outperform this in many games and go look at the performances this thing while i don't like it i don't like its pricing it's coming in somewhere above a 1650 super i think at the moment the the apu portion in the future is going to be faster than this like in the, f in the very near future like they will talk about them near the end of this year and they will launch them next year and that's an apu that you can buy that you can put in a tiny little pc a little box pc i think this is where the world is getting very exciting now steam deck opened my eyes to apus and what i could do the 6800 u that's going to be in laptops whenever amd launches it has also excited me to the point where i'm really looking forward to seeing that and trying to test it and play with it and so on and so forth um and what i'm also looking forward to is the techonomics podcast which is uh, which will be after this after you watch this video you can head over to tech Economics podcast get subscribed we're live tonight myself and chris if you're watching it today on the 20th of the 4th um, we will be live tonight so you can come over and ask questions i'm sure we'll be talking about this subject there but that's what i feel like for the first time in my whole career as poo-pooing apus i'm starting to get to the realm of looking at these apus and being excited for these apus and excited for the performance that they can bring because we we don't want to live in a world where um you know our gpus can be just snatched away from us i want to live in a world where i have other options and for a long for the longest time i've looked at these apus and thought these are not options to me in no way in no form could i rock one of these and think it's good enough well i think it's a, a 1650 I could have gotten away with a 1650 discrete, discrete GPU. The 6400, as far as I've seen in some benchmarks, has beaten the 1650. It's it, we're, we're what what is it like? It's on tech power up. It's uh they're comparing it to like a a, a an R9 280X uh a, a 7970 kind of level performance. You know what I mean? Like this is all relative performance um a gtx 970 is 50 percent faster than uh where's the 1650 i'm just looking for the 1650 see where that is uh 1650 there's the 1650 so 1650 is apparently uh 22 percent faster than it but i don't know whether that's the case or not um i see benchmarks today say that's not the case but anyway 1650 you would imagine something with 16 cus with a higher frequency again with uh you know good memory technology so on and so forth you're going to have something that's going to punch the face in the 1650 and this is this is getting towards beating what we would currently consider like this is the entry level gpu of this generation the 1650 is the entry level gen generation i know it's two years old or whatever it is 
but it, GPUs haven't gotten any faster. <laughs> Entry level hasn't gotten any faster. Meanwhile, these APUs are catching up and catching up. And NVIDIA and AMD are not going to sell you anything. They're not going to sell you a GPU in this price point anymore. They don't want it, right? NVIDIA, NVIDIA has stopped its line at $250 GPU. That's what they stopped their line at. AMD has stopped theirs at the 60, the 6400, which is dog shit as far as I'm concerned for a discrete GPU and shouldn't be bought. Whereas now I'm looking at the the APU portion overtaking these. And I hope AMD doesn't come out and start to try and charge incredible money for these things. I think they won't. I think it'll be fairly s simple money. I think it'll be something in the region of like 350 bucks like you know what i mean i don't think we're gonna get 24 cus like paul said he it was a possibility i think 16 is much more likely i think 12 is even more likely again but if you're going to it all depends on what node you see if they go to six nanometer well then i could see them doing 12 if they go to five nanometer i could see them see them doing 16 because you're shrinking the process you're going to be able to fit more density in there if they go to five nanometer as well you're going to be talking about really high clock speeds you go to six you're not going to be talking about very high clock speeds you're going to be talking about 2.2 gigahertz so it's all which node do they and they tend to put things on their leading edge node they tend to put these laptop parts on the leading edge node and they're already on six nanometer with their laptop parts so you can imagine them wanting to talk about a node change or a node shift next generation so they're going to want to do that and use that as a selling point and if they use a, do that and use it as a selling point then they're going to do that and the reason why they come late is because they want to mature out their node they want to fill out their lineup they want to they want to consolidate their wafer stock wafer availability so all of this is going to happen and it's going to happen within within i'd say cex ces next year we could be talking about this stuff and that's not even a year away and we could be talking about an apu portion that's faster than what we consider entry level today anyway look that's been me hit the like button if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it but if you disliked it tell me why this can't fix it if i don't already did wrong remember liking the video is your superpower it tells youtube that i'm better youtube than i am it gets me more views and i appreciate anybody who does that um it's free as well um but remember i don't put mid roll ads in the middle of these videos because i don't want you to sit through a 10 minute video and then have to watch loads of ads and i do that for you but if you can consider helping me out in return you can and only if you can afford it there's links to my patreon there's links to my um paypal there's links to the, the join button down below there's a join button down below this video where you can become a member where you get access get special names in my live streams on sundays you get a uh, you get access to my discord you get access to my voice chats that i do on sunday you get access to my um to my back catalog of live streams and you get access to my uh to the After Hours podcast with Chris the Good Old Gamer. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll talk to you next time. I'm going to press this button to stop recording. You can also buy a t-shirt. And don't forget about the Techonomics podcast. Bye-bye, uh, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.